What really separates us and our products from everyone else is our meticulous process and technique in distillation and fermentation. It really sets us apart from other people, not only the tender love and care we put into it, but also the ingredients. Our first step is we introduce our reverse osmosis water. The good thing about reverse osmosis water, it's been stripped of all impurities, so we get a good base water that allows us to produce a good bourbon whiskey. We then introduce our number one grade corn that is a mixture between the Midwest and Texas corn. We also introduce our North American rye flour, as well as a number two row malted barley that is also milled on site. We all throw this in our thousand gallon mash tun and there's an agitator inside that is keeping all the ingredients moving as the heat is supplied to all ingredients equally. As we approach 160 degrees, sugars and starches start to release from the corn, barley, and rye, and that produces a very sugary sweet substance. As we approach 185 degrees, I disengage the steam and allow this mash to cool down. About an hour later, I introduce 100 gallons of cooling water and a secondary enzyme that helps kickstart the fermentation process. After we introduce our cooling water and secondary enzyme, we agitate again to ensure that everything is fully mixed. And once I'm satisfied, we move it into our fermentation vessels. Once the mash is in the fermentation vessels, we allow it to cool down to roughly 90 to 85 degrees. Once around 85 degrees, we pitch our yeast. And once we pitch the yeast, we seal the lid to prevent any foreign objects from entering in. Once the lid is shut, the yeast begins consuming all the sugars that have been released from the corn, barley, and rye. And as it consumes all those sugars, it begins releasing two byproducts, carbon dioxide and alcohol. Once the fermentation process is complete, we will then transfer the fermentation into our 600 gallon copper pot still. Once the ferment is in the still, I will then seal off the manhole and I will engage steam from our boiler to our steam jacket that will apply heat to all the mash equally. Once we get closer to 190 degrees, vapors will begin separating from the mash and rise up through the onion, through the stainless steel pipe into the bottom of the column. They will then rise up through the top of the rectification column. The heavier vapors will fall back down into the mash while the lighter vapors proceed upward. At the top of the column, they will then liquefy down our water condenser and fall into our catch tank here. The first step of the distillation process is called heads, also known as four shots. It's very foul, very smelly, and we get that out of the way. It's the quickest part of the distillation process. As we separate our heads, we enter into the hearts process. The hearts process is a more sweeter, more flavorful profile that has come across. It is roughly between 150 to 100 proof, also known as white lightning. This is the good stuff. This is what we spend three to four hours of our five hour distillation run on just producing. The last part of the day's run is called the tails run. This is where water begins to seep in through the process. We begin to notice a less sweet, less flavorful profile, as this well as the proof begins to lower below 90 proof. What we'll do is we'll separate that from the hearts into a separate bucket, and we will then introduce that into our next run. Once the run is complete, we will then agitate our hearts to make sure it is roughly 125 to 130 proof. We will then barrel into new white American oak barrels. But once the spirit is entered into the barrel, the spirit takes on characteristics of the barrel, allowing unique taste profiles to emerge. We taste each barrel before blending, looking for that uniform taste profile that made us so well received by our peers. Once we empty all of our selected barrels, we add a reverse osmosis water in order to lower the alcohol by volume content to the desired proof, for which our Red River Texas Bourbon is 82.4 proof and our Red River Single Barrel is 96.8 proof.